Hey guys, Doc. What am I doing today? Uh, I'm going to back lap my McLean. And I, that's the one that's over what, a year and a half old, and I've never done any service to it whatsoever. It cuts beautiful. But I figured I'd go ahead and back lap it since I'm a um, back lapping virgin to McLean's at least. I've done true cuts, tons of true cuts. And I've never done the McLean, so I'm going to try and figure it out without instructions. <laughs> This should be fun. I figured I'd just do it that way. Um, and then I'm going to come back here once I get it all sharpened up, tuned up perfectly. I'm going to come back here and I'm going to, and I double cut. I already did it. Um, double cut this. Jacob came by and cut this this way. Oh, this way. And I'm going to cut it this way. Uh, just because I see a lot of seed heads still. When you cut Bermuda real short and you get seed heads, they kind of hide a little bit. So. That's what I'm doing. Just uh, let's chill out and do some stuff. Nothing big today. But there's also, what can I show it to you? But there's also a bolt right here that has a slot in it. But then I believe that this bolt acts as a pivot point. So one, two, and three need to loosen up. And I've put my lapping compound all the way across. I'm hearing that grind. And you want to be careful because uh, when you back lap any of these real molars, this thing can throw and break your wrist if you've got too powerful of one on there. So you want to make sure it's lined up. Let's put it in reverse. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to hand tighten this the way that I like to start to set this is I want one of these right here these blades I want one of those blades actually touching the bed knife right on the edge the glasses are fired Alright, so this blade is touching the bed knife right there. And so all I'm going to do, it looks good. Put all these, so I'm lock that one down a little bit. Lock that one. Lock that one down. This blade is touching the bed knife over here. So now, <laughs> this is going to be tight against the bed knife, but that's okay. And so what I did is I forced all this metal on metal contact here. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a tiny bit off. spin and that's what I want I want it just to the point where it's touching but we'll spin 
spin. So that should do it. So I'm going to put the uh, chain back on first. Perfect cut. Two pages thick. Perfect cut. Two pages thick. Not a perfect cut. So this side needs to come down a little bit. Alright, so this side was loose was not making good contact with the bed nut. So I loosened, barely loosened my three points. And all I did was just sort of make sure the blade was on the bed knife here. Touch down. And then give her a cut with the paper. Perfect, all right, so that's good. So I need to lock that in place. The problem is, I have to use the wrenches. Cut. 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 Perfect. All three cut. Good time to oil your chain. Just use regular motor oil on your chain. <coughs> I just like to use regular motor oil on my chain. So this is just a synthetic motor oil. Not too much. Man, that sun is bright. So anyways, yard looks great. Again, uh, Jacob came yesterday and cut it this way. And I came today and cut it this way, so we did a double cut. And it's typically what a golf course does anyways on a daily or bi-daily basis. They do a double cut. Just because of the way that the grass is laying. But uh, real happy with it. Now a lot of people ask, why don't you use the the gear mechanism that makes the motor do the work for you. I never backlap using the motor of a real mower. It's just too dangerous in my opinion. There's no control. Um, your controls are way up here and then you're down on the blade and it's spinning full speed. I really like the ability to slowly turn that blade and be able to put that backlapping compound on and control it with a drill. Um, I just, I've I, I actually have the reverse gear system and I actually just kind of threw it away because I don't like doing it. Now on the McLean there's a three prong little thing that I'll try and find a link for in the description below. Uh, with McLean's you, you can actually use a nut driver on the nut. Um, but that's the way I always do it. But let me just show you. The sun's kind of bright. I don't know if you'll be able to see it but it's, this stuff is just perfect out here. And that is just perfect grass right there. Absolutely gorgeous. Gotta love that. 
I really didn't see a good McLean backlapping video online, so I figured I'd do one for you guys in case you own a McLean or you want one. If you're interested in which McLean reel mower I use, I'll put a link in the description below. There's a web page, a uh, link to a web page, and I'll put a link to a page that I had specially created for this exact model. There's only one distributor that sells it. It's a 25 inch, and uh, you'll see it. Talk to you later. Bye.